guys, it's Shelby. Welcome back to my channel. So in case you've not seen my previous vanity video where I switched things out between my Alex 9 and my vanity, I'll just give you a quick um, rundown of what I'm doing today. So in my Alex 9 drawers, I do have a couple drawers in there that I keep my extra makeup or makeup that's not currently being used for the season. Um, whereas in my vanity, I keep everything at reach that I'm currently using. So today what I'm going to be doing is taking my summer shades and colors that are in my Alex Fine drawer, putting them into my vanity, and putting the winter shades that are in my vanity into the Alex Nine. So just kind of swapping out for the season and cleaning off my individual makeup products. Um, also with COVID here lately, I've not been wearing as much makeup, unfortunately. Um, especially at work, I'm wearing a mask all day long, so I'm not wearing foundation and blush and bronzer and all the goods every day at work. So I'm sure that there are several things in here that are expired or at least on their way out. So while I go through everything, I'll also be doing um, some decluttering as well. So stick with me, let's get started. Just the first thing I'm going to do quickly is to remove all of the makeup products from the drawers, place it on my vanity, and then bring everything in my vanity up as well. That way I can just get an overall look of what I have and start going through and cleaning all of the products. Okay, so now that I have all of the makeup products removed from the Alex drawers, um, I'm going to pull everything out of my first organizer here, put it onto the vanity, clean out the actual tray, and then start putting products back. My plan here is to consolidate at least everything that was in the Alex 9 drawers into a smaller area of um, organizers because just like this, I don't need this entire piece to hold the lipstick um, products that I have. I don't need this whole thing to hold the um, foundations that live in the drawer. So, I might do a separate video and I might even include it in this video of me going through my Alex 9 drawers and reorganizing some things, um, but yeah, that will be to, to be determined. So the first tray, the first section here, um, keeps all of my foundations. So what I'm going to do now is go through all of my foundations and decide which products are going to stay in here for the summer and which need to go into the Alex line for winter and which products I want to get rid of. Okay, so these are all the foundations that I own currently. Way too much for one person, honestly, and especially with, like I said, how often I'm actually wearing foundation right now, it's just too much. So I need to um, go through and decide what's old, what needs to go, what's going to stay in here, and what's going to go into the Alex 9 drawers. Okay, so first off, my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation Concealer. I love this stuff. Um, it's a lot thicker. Um, and a lot more pigmented, but it is my winter shade. I'm definitely holding on to this, it's still good. Um, my Maybelline Fit Me Doing Smooth. Let's see, I have three of these. I actually have them in varying shades. Um, I'm not sure that any of these are good, honestly, anymore. I don't even know the last time I purchased one of these, so I am going to go ahead and get rid of all three of these. My It Cosmetics CC Creams. I use these all the time, um, especially this one is my summer shade. So I use this even if I'm sitting by the pool just a little bit because it's an SPF 50. Um, and I do use that in shade medium. I have the shade Fair and I was kind of mixing these in the beginning of the season as I was gradually um, getting tanner. So I'm just going to keep the medium in the drawer now because this is where I'm at now. And then my NARS Radiant Natural Radiant Long Wear Foundation. This is the foundation I wore for my wedding. Um, it's still good and it is my current shade, so this is gonna stay in my drawer. Okay, so drawer, drawer, Alex 9, Alex 9. Okay, and then my L'Oreal Infallible. This is my favorite overall foundation, high-end or drugstore. This is my favorite. Um, I am currently in shade 204, which is my summer shade, so I'll keep this one in the drawer. Like I said, I was using my fair shade and this mixing in the beginning of the season, um, but this guy can now go in winter storage. 
And then we have just a couple of random small ones here. So this was a kind of like a sample size I got in an empty bag a while ago. I've honestly, I don't think ever used it. I'm probably just gonna pass that on to a friend. And this is just a small bottle of the CC Medium. Um, it, uh, it's still good, but I keep a hold of that pretty much for travel. So I'll keep a hold of that in, the, um, in my storage. And then Makeup Forever Ultra HD, I have in Y245, just a small sample size, it's still good. And this is my current shade, so I will keep that in a drawer um, for summer. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean off the products as I go, and I'll be right back. So I have a little bit of a setup change actually on my vanity. So this little carousel guy up here did not used to have all my brushes. I used to have two um, like Bath and Body Works candle jars that held my brushes. Um, so I used to have my setting sprays and stuff like that in that carousel, but since I brought the plant onto my vanity, I moved everything to the carousel. So I now need to make just a little bit of space for my setting sprays inside of my vanity. But considering how I don't know. I don't have a whole lot of foundations in here anymore. I think that I'll be able to fit my setting sprays in there. Let's just see how everything lays. So I have my Smashbox um, Primer Water and Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Those are really the only two that I keep on hand, so I think it's not too cluttered. It's not going to drive me too crazy, so I think it'll stick just like that. Um, this little spot here, I'm going to put concealer, so let's just look at what concealers I have. Um, so I have a Bye Bye Under Eye um, from It Cosmetics. I don't use this a whole lot, but it is a really good full coverage option. If I'm going for like full glam, then I will reach for this. Um, I'm not going to leave it in my actual vanity, though I am going to put it um, in storage for now. Like I said, I don't use it that often. Um, and then these three, I do kind of alternate through. I use them all the time whenever I am doing a full glam look. Um, so we just have the ColourPop, No Filter Concealer, um, Born This Way from Too Faced, and the Kat Von D Locket Concealer. I'm gonna clean these off and put them away. Another one I realized that I have, I have a little mini of the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, I don't use this actually. I had the full size a while back and just I didn't like it. I didn't really use it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this guy as well. So next in this little spot here, I used to have um, like a couple little primers and a shadow primer and stuff like that. So I'm going to pretty much just put those back in here after cleaning them off. Um, so I just have a small Smashbox primerizer, a primer oil, which I actually really like. I want to get the um, full size of this product. Um, and then really the only primer that I do use is the Photo Finish from um, Smashbox. So it looks like I was keeping the um, Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray in there. I'm going to put that into storage as well as the Peter Thomas Roth is just like a um, liquid eyeliner. And then I will keep my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in here. I rarely ever use eyeshadow primer, but if I do, that's really the only one that I have, so that's going to stay in there. The spot back here really is not that exciting. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw the things back there. I just keep Q-tips, um, a little shadow guard so I can put this underneath my um, bottom lashes and apply mascara without getting my makeup all ruined from the mascara. Some eye drops, hand sanitizer, and that's all that stays back there. Um, so the next two spots here are blushes, bronzers, highlighters, things like that. So I'm going to pull everything that I do have even in storage down and take a look at what I want to keep. Okay, I'm going to go through these products first only because some of these are winter shades, some of them are summer shades because I've kind of pulled some as I've gone throughout the season. Um, this one I know is going to stay in summer. This is um, Prosecco Pop, I think. Prosecco Pop and Pomple Mousse by Becca. It was the Jaclyn Hill collab. Keeping that in the summer. This butter bronzer is my light bronzer. So this I actually already put away for the season. So that's going to go up into storage. And I have my regular bronzer in um, the vanity. 
Next thing is my Hourglass All Over Luminous Light Glow that's staying in summer. This needs to come down in the summer. It is um, Hula Calif or California and WhatsApp. I love the WhatsApp highlighter um, from Benefit, so that is going in here now that I've got a little bit more of a tan. Um, this blush from Tarte, it's, it's a peach blush. I really only wear peach blushes in the summer, so this is definitely going um, into the vanity. Prim is another Tarte. Um, it's kind of like my most neutral shade that I, I don't know, it goes with any look that I wear, so definitely keeping that here in the vanity. Um, I have a little champagne pop that can stay in the vanity. On the Cusp by ColourPop, staying in the vanity. It's kind of like a rose gold shade, looks really good on when you're tan. Um, a couple ColourPop blushes. This one is Cruel Intentions and Between the Sheets. I love Between the Sheets. You'll see later that I actually have a backup of it. Um, Cruel Intentions is actually pretty, like, kind of a berry color, and I really only go for those shades um, in the fall and winter, so I'll move that up to storage. Um, I have a small opal by Becca. I never really wear this shade. <laughs> I don't know. I'm torn. I don't know if I want to get rid of it. I might just put it in storage for now. I have a random little baked highlighter by Estate called, um, I don't know if it's called Do Me or if it's called Lit, um, but it is a nice little baked highlighter. I'll keep that here. I have Flexitarian by ColourPop, a highlighter. It's very, um, I don't even know, it's very light, so I actually really only wear this in the winter. I'll keep that in storage. Another blush from Ofra really pretty shade it works really well for me in the summer and the winter so i'll keep that in the vanity anastasia i am Reezy highlighter love for all um seasons that'll stay here um, i have a hard candy tiki which is um more of a highlighter than it is a bronzer it's labeled as a bronzer but um this is like the highlighter that i wear when i work because it's not too crazy it just gives you a nice little glow so this will definitely stay here again i don't know when i'll be able to wear this stuff to work but that's at least kind of my thought on that um and then i have a tarte blush palette that i use year round it has good summer shades and winter shades so that will stay here as well Okay, so I was going through and cleaning off the products and I realized that I actually skipped a few, so I'm going to go through these now. Um, so I do have Birthday Suit by ColourPop, a blush. Um, it's like a pinkish nude, really season appropriate for summer or winter, so I'll keep that in the vanity. Um, I have Entertain, which is kind of like a peachy pink from Tarte, um, and this works really well in the summer when I'm nice and tan, so I'll keep that in the vanity. Morphe highlight called Spark. It is a pretty actually deep rose gold, so this really only works when I'm at my deepest tan. Um, so I will keep that in the vanity. Kaleidoscope skin blush. This is kind of like I think this is a yeah, it's like um, almost like a blush topper, which is really the only type of um, blush topper that I have. So I will keep that in my vanity. And then Phase Zero. It's like a really light cotton candy shade. Oh, it's actually called cotton candy <laughs> shade blush, um, which I really like on pale skin. So I'm going to keep that in my storage for during the winter months. I truly think I'm just creating more of a mess now than anything. So fun. So just quickly, I know that the rest of these trays are pretty much going to stay the same. Um, I wear pretty much all of these colors regardless of what my skin color is. Um, so I'm going to just clean all of these off um, and make sure they're all good, nothing smells, everything's good and not expired, and then we'll keep those. Um, and then I'll quickly go through my eye products as well. Really there's only a couple things in here. Um, so yeah, there's not going to be a lot of changing up of anything. I'm going to clean everything off, put them back in the vanity, and then we'll go through the rest of the stuff that was in storage and see if there's anything I want to add to the vanity as well as go through those and declutter anything that I don't want to keep out of there anymore. Okay, so clean through all the shadows, definitely getting pulled in there, and then there's a shadow, meaning, oh my god, wish, save. A shadow I've had for a really long time um, from Lancome. Um, I actually have a lot, a lot of backups of those. You'll see that as well. But this is like my perfect crease shade. Regardless of anything I've ever tried, I always go back to that for my crease. 
have a cute little Tetris when I had Ipsy. It's called Luck Party. Really pretty. Another rose gold shade. You'll see I am really into rose gold on my eyes. Um, a little the balm shadow. Cute, nice, kind of a darker transition shade. This is kind of like a cream eye base that I use whenever I do something um, really sparkly that I want to last all night. Estee Lauder Mocha. I've had this probably for way too long, but I'm I'm not getting rid of that one. I have a Bobbi Brown stick. I love this. It's another um, really nice um, rose gold shade, of course. Um, MAC Pigment in tan. I have a pigment from ColourPop, the Kathleen Lights, the Goat keeping. And then I have two Stila, um, what are they called? Stay All Day something. Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. So I have Kitten Karma and Golden Girl. These are really the only two shades that I like keeping both of those. Okay, so as far as eye products, I have the um, three mascaras that I use. So um, Essence Lash Princess, I use pretty much every day. Um, the same Lash Princess False Lash Effect. And then I have a Maybelline Lash Sensational, which is waterproof, and I use that on my lower lashes. Um, I have two different brow gels. I have Anastasia Clear Brow Gel as well as NYX Control Freak. These are both really good products. Um, for my brows, I have either Wet n Wild um, Retractable or I have the Brow This Way from Rimmel. And let's see, I have one um, primer, lash primer from Lancome. I'll keep that. I have one gel liner, Maybelline Eye, Stud Shud <laughs> Eye Studio. I'll keep that. Um, as far as liquid liners, I have the matte style from Essence and I have tattoo liner from Kat Von D. Um, I use them both. One's a lot thinner and one's um, kind of a felt tip and thicker. So just depending on what type I want to apply that day. Um, and then as far as pencils, I don't even know what this one is. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever even use that. Oh, well, maybe. It goes on really smooth. So it's actually it's kind of a brown color, but has like a bit of a shimmer to it. I don't know. Maybe I threw that in there to try on my lower lash line and never even tried. So um, I'll try that out. And then I have a black from Makeup Forever. And then I have two more like brown colors. Um, the NYX Professional one, I'm not really a huge fan of. It's like, it's not very pigmented. So I really have to work at it. But then the Essence one that I love... I mean, you see that was like one little swipe, like barely even touching. It's so pigmented. However, the sharpening situation on this thing is pathetic. I don't know if it's my sharpener or the pencil, but I need to, need to figure something else for this because um, I love the product. I just, I stab my eye every time I use it. So definitely keeping that. just need to figure out what I'm doing there. Um, I'm going to get rid of the next one. So the last bin and the vanity are all of my like mini lip products or um, balms. Um, so these are all pretty much going to stay. I just have a lipstick touch of spice. Actually, I need to move this into my storage because this is, um, it's like a fall winter shade. I think I had it in here for winter specifically. So we'll put that in storage. And then I have rum raisin, same thing. Um, it's a fall winter shade. It's a really nice berry. So I'll move that into storage. I have a buxom lip pencil that I use, um, specifically in summer. I'll keep that in here. Anastasia lip gloss. Again, um, Mm, it kind of works best, or it works for any season, so I'll keep that one in here. I use that one all the time, actually. Tardis Lip Paint, um, I think this is in Birthday Suit. Yeah, Birthday Suit. It's a really pale nude. Um, it works really well all seasons. I'll keep that in here. Ciate Glitter Clip. I don't think I've ever even worn this, but it's a lot darker. I'll keep it for now and see if I wear it next winter. Um, I have two Buxom, like, like, glittery glosses, I guess. One's a peach and one's a pink. I'll keep them both in here. This is also a darker lipstick, more of a winter um, shade, so I'll move that into storage. Um, I have a couple of just like really pale nude lip glosses. Keep those in here. This is another like darker berry shade. I'll move into storage. I have a bright red lipstick. I pretty much keep this for ball games, like Reds games or Ohio State games, just because of the bright red um, for both colors work really well. So um, I'll just put that in storage because I don't really need to keep it in my vanity and use that at all times. Um, this is my absolute favorite lip color. It works well for me in the summer and in the winter. It is Buxom Hush. This is my favorite lipstick actually for year round. So I will keep that in here. And then I just have a Vaseline lip 
therapy type thing. So I'm gonna clean this off, put these products back into the vanity, and then I'll go through the rest of the stuff that goes into the Alex Nine drawers. Okay, so so far, this was everything that I've gone through when I was going through the vanity. Um, the rest of this stuff is probably going to stay, most of it. Anyway, I need to, like I said, reconfigure what's going where and kind of consolidate some area, some real estate, I guess, in, um, in these bins. So one thing I know is there's not going to be a whole lot of lip products. So I'm going to take this bin and put all of the lip products into the smaller side. Um, so all of the lipsticks that I just went through and I'm keeping, I'll move those into here. I actually probably need to go through the actual lipsticks as well. So um, I keep these out on display most of the time. Um, so these are the ones that are current for the season that I'll just grab through. Um, I know right off the bat, a lot of these are gonna be like deeper winter shades. So I will pull those and go from there. Okay, so I think I was wrong. I think I have a lot more lipsticks that I'm keeping in storage than I thought. Um, and moving the a lot of like my peachier tones and pinks out into the summer shades to keep on hand. Um, but regardless, these still fit okay in here. I'm definitely not gonna be reaching for them at all during the spring or during the summer. So those can just stay right there. Um, and then looking at face products, let's spin this around. I have some more of the. Um, Primer water from Smashbox. I always keep a hold of this little guy for travel. Um, so we'll keep both of those in here. I have several sprays from um, Scandinavia. Let's see, I thought I had another one. Oh yeah, I put it in here. Okay, so I have a finishing spray and I um, primer spray from them. I'll keep both of those in here. I have a travel size makeup setting spray from Urban Decay. As far as primers, Let's see, I have a Nude Glow from Glam Glow, MAC Prep and Prime, Cover FX. I kind of just keep a hold of these in case I ever come across needing one. Um, also, Professional. A lot of these came from my Ipsy bags and my Sephora boxes when I used to get subscription boxes. Um, so really, it's just a matter of not having gone through my you know, everyday stuff yet. Um, I don't really do subscription boxes anymore. I'm just not, I mean, I'm a makeup girl. I like makeup, but I just, I'm not all about it anymore. I don't need new stuff coming in at all times like I feel like I used to do. Wow, okay, I have a lot more primers than I thought that I did. Now that I'm going through everything. All right, let's see what else we have. Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. Tarte Double Beauty, Double Duty Beauty, I'm assuming, yeah, base tape. Hydrating Primer. Laura Mercier, are you an eye or face primer? Eye primer. Um, Lorac Eye Primer, Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. I've wanted to try this. Have I not tried this? See, I can't even remember anymore. I have so many little things that I have on hand that I cannot even remember anymore. You know what? Let's um, let's dial back a little bit. I don't really like super pore filling primers. Um, I know I use the Smashbox one, but that one just does a really good job at smoothing my skin. I don't know, I really like that one, but I'm not a huge fan of this one. I know I've tried this one and I'm pretty sure it's like got a small tint to it. Not the biggest fan. Man, this is hard. Even though I don't even, I just don't even use them. Um, illuminating primer, I like anything that's illuminating or hydrating, I'll keep that. Um, nude Glow, obviously, it's illuminating, I'll keep that. Radiance primer, I'll keep that. Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. Smoothing. Dag on it, man. Okay. We'll keep those. We'll get rid of the base tape. Um, okay. And then I guess I'll just keep a hold of the two eye primers as well. Going into eye products. Okay. This is a um, backup of my brow pencil. I'll definitely keep a hold of that. Um, so I do have a L'Oreal Voluminous, Voluminous Lash Paradise and Waterproof Mascara. This is like my favorite overall mascara, um, and especially with it being waterproof, I just kind of keep it in here. I don't use it too often, but I do love that mascara. I have a couple more Stila eye glitters. I love both of them, holding on to those. Um, I have a couple um, liners, Marc Jacobs and Sephora. They're both black. I use them both. I'll just hold on to them. Um, I have another Kat Von D. Is this even good? I don't think it's even good anymore. We're gonna get rid of that guy. Um, I have another liquid liner, nano liner. Ooh, still very pigmented. It works, so I'll keep it. 
And then I have a Clinique mascara. I don't use this, I've never used it. I'll give this to a friend. It's got like a primer on the other side. Um, as far as like tanning products, I have this is from Selfie called Tan and Go. So they're, they're actually really cool. There's little micro beads in here. So as I'm putting it onto my face, they burst and give me a little bit of color. So especially when I self tan, my face tan goes first. So if I put this on underneath my makeup, it just helps kind of even out the skin tone. I like that. Um, this kind of does the same thing um, from Bare Minerals. It's actually a gradual um, sunless tanner. And then I also have one from Tarte. So I do use all three of those. It just kind of depends on the day, what kind I want to use. Um, I also have a Do The Hula Bronzer liquid. It's the only liquid bronzer that I have and I like it. I'll keep it. Um, Clinique, this is a chubby highlighter. It's kind of like a pinkish color though and I'm really not into pinky highlights. I'll go ahead and give that to a friend. Um, I already said I like the What's Up highlighter. I have a little mini of that. I'll keep that. And then I have, I think this is the purple one that I have, highlighter. Yeah, it's like a purple iridescent highlighter. I said last to color that I would keep it and see if I wore it for New Year's. I did not. I'm not really into this kind of thing, so I'll get rid of that one as well. And then moving into, I just have a couple lip products in here. Frida, that even belongs in here. Um, so I have an extra Tarte birthday suit. I'm going to pitch that because I think this is the older one. Yeah, and it's pretty dried out. So I'm gonna throw that guy away. And then I just have a couple lip balms and stuff um, and a lip scrub that I will keep in here as well. So I think that part's done. This little container is just all of my extras. Um, I have lashes in here and then all the doubles that I have kept that, um, like products that I really, really like, I get really bummed when they go away. So when I realize that I really like a product, I buy a second one because I don't ever wanna be without it. Um, so I have another Between the Sheets by ColourPop blush. I have an extra Amaze by ColourPop um, eyeshadow. I have two of those extra Lancome um, shadows that I told you is perfect in my crease. And then I have an extra on the cusp highlighter, the Kathleen Lights um, collab with ColourPop. And then I just have like lash glue and little tools over here so those will stay. And then these, I might be able to just stick somewhere else. That way I'm not using this whole container in there, but I just have like little samples in here, some teeth whitening, little things like that that don't really need an entire container. So I'm gonna put this back into the Alex 9 and see how much room I can um, save now. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I actually, I'm really not a huge fan of the Alex 9 drawers for makeup storage, unless you can find um, like custom fit organizers that fit in the drawers. They're just so like awkward. They don't fit anything perfectly. Um, I can't fit two of these guys next to each other. I can't fit stuff in the back. So unfortunately, I've already puzzled this out. I'm not gonna be able to whittle this down to two, two drawers versus the three. Um, my plan was to have this third drawer open and to put my makeup palettes that are up here into the drawer. Um, just because I'm kind of overseeing my makeup palettes on display, it's just not really something that sparks joy anymore. So um, yeah, I mean, I might play around and see if I can still do that. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's see how, how this works out. So I was able to come up with enough space to be able to keep my, um, palettes in my drawer. However, now I don't know because up on top of my Alex drawers, I do keep a mirror. Um, and I keep that there actually for when I apply like my skincare and stuff at night so that I can see what I'm doing. And I have this like fluorescent pink fan as well because it gets really hot up here um so the biggest issue here is i don't have any sort of decor or anything to cover this at least not right now um nor do i have any idea what i want to put up here my plan originally was to put a plant um and i'm just realizing a plant's not going to cover this that's not going to be very cute so i think for now until i change up my actual furniture and come up with a different setup which i won't be doing until i'm no longer in this apartment um I think the setup is just gonna have to stay the way that it was. So my top drawer now, I have my eye products here, I have my um, base products here, and I have my lipsticks back there. Then I have my extras and my eyelashes here, my tanning products here, and my um, face products. And then last drawer, I just have some like facial razors and um, tools, samples, and extras 
care. And then just overall setup of the vanity, we've already gone over everything. The one thing I realized we did not go through was all my palettes. None of these are leaving, so I didn't go through there. I did wipe everything down, but everything is staying. Also got to whittle down a couple of my storage products. I had this in the back of my Alex drawers. I'm never gonna display my lipsticks again, so I'll go ahead and um, get rid of that, give it to a friend or something. Couple other storage containers down, and then this was everything that I've ended up keeping and going to give off to some friends. And then, like I said, I threw a few things away as well anything that seemed to be expired or just really old and unsure of, um, or things like lipsticks and stuff. I don't really like to give away if I've used them, it's just not very sanitary.